I had a checkup. I had, passed, I had flying calls. I avoided I didn't go to the doctor because thank you very much. Not that it was a question, but I didn't want to go for about a year and a half. I didn't go to my doctor because I knew what he was going to say. I knew he was going to say the same thing he says for the last couple of years. You need to lose a little weight. I don't need him to tell me that. So I said, I, I, I said oh, I'm smart. I'll lose the weight first, and then he will have nothing to say. But that didn't really pan out. So I, I went <laughs> as I was. I just showed up. He said, everything's great, I'd like you to lose a little weight. This is why nobody likes you, because it's that kind of bullshit. It's that, he said, not a lot, I'd just like you to lose five or 10 pounds. I said, all right, I choose five. This is Jeffrey Gurian for Comedy Matters in the elaborate ex-coat room and private office of Richie Tinkin at the comic strip, interviewing Paul Reiser for his new show, The Paul Reiser Show. Uh, debuting this coming Thursday, April the 14th, on NBC at 8 p.m. So check it out and see what Paul has to say about his new show. You know what we really are? Yeah. A secret location we cannot disclose. And you can tell that it's very special. It's very secretive. Mm-hmm. That's all I had to say. <laughs> if you say it's the comic ship, it's like, oh, that's not so special. It's kind of untidy. But if it's secret, wow, sort of spy ship. You're right. Okay, yeah. so we're not going to say where it is. We don't know where it is. We, we have no idea where it is. It could be any place, actually. It could be any place. It looks like an ex-coat room, actually. Like an old coat room. Yes, but we don't know where. But we could have no Belgium. idea. It, it could, could be NATO headquarters. It, it could Keep actually... Secret. Keep the mystery. That's that's what we're going to do. It, it's going to... It's more powerful if it's a mystery. Now, so, there's, there's got to be dozens, dozens of people watching this. At least five or ten. To these dozens of people. Right. I say, you'll watch the show, because, you know, I just know you will. Where, where are you going to go? But it's your friends and the people that you don't know that I really want. So I want each of you watching this to go onto the streets, and each of you get like 40 people that mm -hmm. you don't know, and say, just watch Paul Reiser's show Thursday, April 14th, NBC at 8.30. And they'll say, why? And you go, Psh. Say. Trust me. It'll, yeah, trust me. It'll build up. It'll, you know, pretend like it, like there's something coming. <laughs> Make it mysterious. The what? That they have to each get forty. Each yes, yes. Each group of people has to get forty and forty. This is, by the way, this is exactly how Bernie Madoff started. However, here we're not taking. We're just giving. We're giving. You're giving, yes, strangers the the joy and the obligation of having to watch. Because if nobody watches. Uh, then the show will not uh, live, and mm -hmm. then I would lose the opportunity to be in a friggin' coat room uh, with a video <laughs> camera blinding my, uh, <laughs> Blind my retina. Your retinas, yeah. right. How and, did the show come about? I don't want to lose that. How did the show come about? The show came about... Uh, I, you know, the show came about because somebody said, why don't you write a show? And I wrote a show, and then we hoodwinked enough people until they put it on the air. I have pictures of people uh, in high power. I have pictures of them naked. Uh, not mm -hmm. naked so much as... as Scantily small, clad. Them, not even. They're fully dressed, mm -hmm. but they're holding a squirrel in a special way. <laughs> and uh, when you have that, you have power. Yes. And so hence we're on the air. And again, if each of you gets 40 people, and you're like a dozen, so that's like, mm -hmm. that's like 300 people, but they get another 40 people. Right. It Before you know it, we'll be, we'll be bigger than the hula hoop, man. Right, you could have a thousand There's people a watching your show. That's you a could have absolutely right a thousand people could now, watch the show. Now, of those thousand, right. if nobody has a Nielsen box, it means shit. Yeah. But if 600 are paying attention, yeah. Yeah. that's all you need, really. That's all so you need. So watch it, and uh, as Mel Brooks said, be good to your parents, folks. They've been good to you. Yeah. This is Paul Reiser, and you're watching Comedy Matters.